welcome back to Beauty Bee and to the six month update for my product 100 uses. It seems absolutely impossible that it has been, well, actually just shy of six months as I'm filming this because I'm filming this almost a week early, but it just doesn't seem like it should have been six months since this project started at all, but here we are. I will, as usual, link both the introduction video as well as the playlist that contains the intro and all of the updates. The too long, didn't watch version is I'm trying to get to 100 uses on my color cosmetics. This is not aimed at really focusing on a couple of products to get them to 100 uses. It is more spreading my attention out among the items in my collection and slowly working on all of them and hopefully getting many of them to 100 uses. So I always start with eyeshadow and I actually hit a few different goals this month as far as eyeshadow goes. I did get two different items to 20 uses. The first was this ColourPop Ladybird Super Shock Shadow. I think you can see there's been a good amount of use. I have some pan in the middle, but I still have some of the imprint around the edges, so definitely nowhere near finishing this. I have used this 21 times since the project began, and I used it four times in the past month. The other item that I got to 20 uses is this e.l.f. Hot Jalapeno Bite Size Quad. Now, I think you can see there is pan in this. Unfortunately, it's not real. I used it up pan. I'm just a klutz who drops things. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised that I don't have more casualties in my makeup collection because, goodness, I shouldn't be trusted with fragile things. Now, I've also used this item four times in the past month, which is bringing me to 22 uses in the project. And in the next month, I think it would be really nice if I could kind of clear out the remaining little bits of this dark green matte from the pan and just have a true empty I finished it asterisk um, pan kicking around. So a re on a really on a really exciting note, I've hit a hundred uses on my NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. I'm actually at 109 uses, and I think that is actually a good angle for you to see that I have two little pans in here. One in this peach shade, and another in this sort of very warm brown, more of like a terracotta brown shade. I'm also starting to get close on this uh, light pink. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. I will hopefully hit a good angle at some point, but I would not be surprised at all if I hit pan on the shade in the next month. I also have a pretty decent little dips going in this mint green as well as this peach. Now this item I actually did purchase right around the time that this project started. I think I'd had it for a couple of weeks before the project started. So I think it might be interesting to note this is sort of what a 100 use palette looks like. I'm actually a little surprised it doesn't look more used. Now yes, there are times that I count as one use when I'm just maybe sticking this mint in the inner corner or just using this as a brow bone highlight. So this is not 100 uses solely using this palette, but at the same time, I'm always surprised by just how long it takes to use up eyeshadow. In any case, I am thrilled that I've hit the 100 use mark. I'm still going to be using this, of course, but I don't plan to continue to add updates about it. Now, as far as my other goals for eyeshadow go, I used my Wet n Wild 32 Pan Palette 20 times in the past month, which brings me to 81 total uses. I think it would be great if I could get to 100 over the next month. Now, I usually wouldn't set myself a goal of using something 19 times in one month. However, I think the fact that I have, I believe, 34 or 35 days before I need to film my next update, using it 19 out of 35 days seems achievable. Uh, additionally, I would like to use uh, this 
NYX Ultimate Edit in Ash Palette, I think at least six times. I did not do a great job of using this this past month. I think I used it four times and part of that is just that there's no shades that are in my canvas eyeshadows right now. Um, this was in for ages, but I really do like this palette. I think it's really pretty and it does complement some of the other things that I have in my canvas eyeshadows project, so time to get some good use out of it. Okay, now for lips, I actually hit a goal on four different products this month, which is so exciting. Let's start from the top with this Flower Beauty Rosy Garden lipstick. Here is what this looks like. It's very bright pink, super pretty. I love it. And I have used this exactly 20 times. I used it twice in the past month. I did complain, maybe in the last update, that it had started giving me headaches sometimes, but fingers crossed last time I used it, it did not. So hopefully that was just uh, not exactly a one-off, but a few times off and it's okay now. I hope. It's a really beautiful color. I love it. It's one of my absolute faves and I'm glad to have it back in rotation. The next one we have to talk about is Maybelline Almond Rose. I have used this five times in the past month for a total of 24 times. There's that lipstick. It's a nude pink. It's matte. Very pretty. Again, there's a reason why I'm getting to 20 odd uses on these, so maybe I should stop mentioning how pretty they are. I've been using this quite a bit. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Love it. Really been enjoying it. And this is one that I could see myself panning maybe not this year, but probably next year. I would like to use this up. It's such a good color, such an easy everyday shade to wear. I think it is something that I should be able to finish up through more or less natural use. Next up, we have my NYX Can. Again, it's sort of a nude, sort of a pink. This is one of their soft matte lip creams, and I used this six times in the past month for a total of 25 uses since the project began. This is in my project pan. And I have no idea if I'm close to finishing it or not, because I've been thinking that I'm close to finishing it for the past six months. Then finally, we have my little tart uh, jelly glaze in strawberry jelly. This is just a little mini. It's a lip mask, and I put this in the project because I thought that I would use it mostly as a gloss. I've ended up using it more as a mask, which is why after a month and a half of ownership, I am now at 28 uses. I do like this a lot. I've used it 19 times in the past month and I just think it's a really solid little product. I never would have thought to pick this up and I am so glad that it came in uh, a little set that I got from Sephora. Now for a couple of goals that I have for lip products. First, I would like to use my Revlon Secret Club at least seven times in the next month. I'm currently at 36 uses. I think that reaching 50 in the next month might be a bit of a stretch. However, I think using it seven times is quite reasonable and that would set me on track to hit 50 the following month. I would also like to use my e.l.f. red lip liner nine times over the next month. It's currently at 11, so that would bring me up to 20 total uses. I want to be getting more use out of my red lipsticks. I think that February is a perfect time to use those quite a bit. And I have quite a few red lipsticks at this point that I really enjoy and want to be getting more use out of. So I pretty much use that every time I wear red lipsticks. So I'm setting myself the goal of nine uses across all of my reds over the next month. Cheeks are the only area where I brought something new in this month. I bought this Cheek Leaders Nude Pink Squad from Benefit. It has California Tickle and Dandelion in it, and I've actually only owned this for a couple of days. I have used it three times so far. It's so cute. I'm really enjoying it so far, and I just want to continue to play around with this. I don't want to set a real hard goal for it over the next month. I did hit goal on my Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush. This is in the shade 
Don't Flutter Yourself. It is the lighter pink from the Hummingbird collection. And you're actually starting to have a hard time seeing it from the Hummingbird collection. I've pretty much worn away the bird at the bottom. I'm kind of focusing their brush there because I don't want the bird to go away. I love hummingbirds and everything. It's going to be a sad day when it's gone. However, I'm going to be pretty close to panning it, so that will be exciting. My goal was to use this six times over the month. I ended up using it nine, which brings me to a total of 53 uses. I mean, I am really happy about that. It's a beautiful product, and I'm glad that the fact that it has a pretty embossing on it is not stopping me from using it. Now for goals for the next month, I'm actually really close to hitting the 100 use mark for my Tarte Harmony blush. I am at 93 uses. Um, I was at 77 uses the month before, so I used it 16 times in the past month, which makes me think that using it seven times in the month ahead should not be too much of a struggle at all. I am super excited to have another item hit 100. I think that will be fantastic. Additionally, I would like to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow palette 14 times over the next month. I'm currently at 71 uses, so that would take me to 85 and it would put me right on track to hit 100 uses the following month. Next we have my little miscellaneous category. I actually used up a product this month, um, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I used that four times in the past month for a total of 18 uses, and it just dried up, so it has been tossed. I didn't think to save the packaging, wish I had. I also hit goal on another liner. This is the Wet n Wild liner in black brown. It's one of their twist up pencil liners. And I used this four times in the past month for a total of 20 uses. So that's what that is looking like. I think my goal was actually to use this five times this month. However, because I'm filming this about a week early, I didn't hit five. I did get to four though. So I'm calling it that goal met and I actually am making pretty good progress on this. I don't know that I'll have this in my collection for a super long time. Here is what I have left. I would say that's probably a third roughly of the product that was in there to start with. So I'm definitely making slow but steady progress. And then the last item we have to talk about is my NYX glitter primer. I used that eight times in the past month for a total of 38. So I think the month after next I should hit 50, though I've actually been wearing a lot of glitter in the past month, and especially in the past week to week and a half, I've just been really feeling sparkle all the time. So maybe it'll even be next month. We shall have to see. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've been enjoying this project. I certainly have. It's been a great motivation to actually get use out of a variety of different products in my collection. I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed, and I really hope I'll see you next time. Bye!